I don't believe that Jimmy Garoppolo would make the Cleveland Browns Super Bowl contenders any more than Jacoby Brissett. I am not a Jimmy Garoppolo believer. I'm not. I, I believe Jimmy Garoppolo has been riding the wave in San Francisco. The 49ers, they were winning in spite of Jimmy Garoppolo, not because of Jimmy G. I think it would be a huge mistake for the Cleveland Browns to trade for Jimmy G. I'm not giving up any draft picks for Jimmy G. Like, it's a reason why Jimmy G is still on the open market and not been traded for. Because Jimmy G isn't very good. When are we going to get the memo here that Jimmy G is a game manager? Jacoby Brissett can be a game manager. You look at the first six games for the Cleveland Browns. The first six games, they are at Carolina. And then they got a game against the... They got Carolina. They're home against the Jets. Home against the Steelers. At Falcons. Home against the Chargers. And in their home against the Patriots. With Jacoby Brissett, I could see the Browns going five and one, maybe even four and two. I, I, I really could. If they brought in Jimmy G, what do you believe their record would be? In those first six games, will it be? They're not going to go six and zero because they're going to lose to the Chargers. They'll lose to the Chargers. You you need Deshaun Watson to beat Justin Herbert. But I can't see the Browns being any better with Jimmy G than what they are right now with Jacoby Brissett. I just don't understand for the life of me this infatuation. Jimmy G is not very good. We saw it. In the Super Bowl, Niners, Chiefs, the 49ers, they went into the fourth quarter. They were up 20 to 10, a 10 point lead in the Super Bowl. And the 49ers could not win that game. And the reason why they couldn't win that game is because Jimmy Garoppolo is their quarterback. He had Emmanuel Sanders wide open, and Emmanuel Sanders would have scored a touchdown, and the 49ers would have won the Super Bowl. But Jimmy G overthrew Sanders, and Mahomes ended up winning the game. You had the Chiefs right where you wanted them. In that game, I thought the 49ers' defense, they did all they could in that game. You hold the Chiefs' explosive offense to only 10 points going into the fourth quarter? 10 points? And Jimmy G couldn't close that deal? It's because Jimmy G is not very good. And then last year, you look at the NFC Championship game. This is in LA, 49ers at Rams. We noticed the NFC West battle between both of these teams. Going into that fourth quarter of that game, the 49ers, they were up 17 to 7. Up 17 to 7. So you got a 10 point lead with a Super Bowl berth on the line. In the fourth quarter, the Rams outscored the 49ers 13-0. And when when the chips were at the front of the table, we saw why Matthew Stafford is universally recognized as a top-10 quarterback in the NFL, and Jimmy G is just a game manager. You have an opportunity to punch your ticket to the Super Bowl. The last three years, I feel like the 49ers have been a team that could win the Super Bowl. You got one of the best coaches and play callers in the NFL in Kyle Shanahan. You got arguably the best tight end in the NFL in George Kittle. They got a bunch of running backs who they put in who are by committee, but they can produce in that 49ers offense. You got Debo Samuel. And then defensively, you got Nick Bosa. You got Fred Warner at linebacker. You got so many players on this team that makes this team a Super Bowl contender. And you would have thought that they would have won a Super Bowl by now, but they haven't won a Super Bowl because Jimmy Garoppolo is their quarterback.